New York City is surrounded by water. It helps us get around, provides a setting for recreation and fun, and serves as a home for some really cool wildlife. The water that flows adjacent to Battery Park City, the Hudson River, mixes with the Atlantic Ocean in New York Harbor. Water also flows down the river all the way from Lake Tier of the Clouds in Essex County in upstate New York. New York Harbor is a special place where fresh water from the Hudson River mixes with salty water from the Atlantic Ocean in what is called an estuary. Estuaries are great places for aquatic species to have their babies and grow up. They are full of many species from both the salty ocean and the fresh river. Battery Park City Authority helps visitors get up close and personal with fishing equipment and etiquette as well as introduce humans to their fishy neighbors. We practice catch and release fishing in our programs. This allows anglers to hone their skills while being mindful of the safety of our fish species. The fish are returned to their home in the river after being identified and measured. These measurements allow us to collect important data on fish population and river health. Today, New York's waterways are on their way to being healthy and full of life. But it wasn't always this way. For a long time in our past, the rivers were polluted. Chemicals leaked from ships and ran off the streets and docks of the city, hurting the environment. Trash from people can prevent fish from living comfortably in their own homes. Currently, we face huge problems from plastics and other pollutants. Fish have to move around the river to hunt, find a mate, and raise their babies. Creatures who call the Hudson River home struggle to survive in a toxic environment. Let's play Race to the Ocean to explain. plastic packaging that only gets used one time. A plastic bag can look like food to a fish living in murky water, but will cause it to choke or get sick. Governments and individuals are working hard to ensure the health of our waterways, for us as well as for our many non-human friends. Because of this biodiversity, it's important to recycle, compost, and be responsible for our waste. Any pollution we put into the water has a huge impact on those species. It's up to us to be responsible neighbors and throw our trash away properly. What happens with the trash that is in the ocean? It's clear we need to cut down on the trash going into the ocean. Let's learn how to keep our river pollution free with a fun art project. First, let's see how much trash we make. Collect and clean plastic trash for a week.
At the Battery Park City Authority, we have a zero waste facility where staff has pledged to reduce, reuse, and recycle. We recycle plastics, paper, and we make sure we dispose of garbage properly. We regularly use reusable bags, cups, and straws instead of the disposable ones. We find ways to reuse our materials and keep them out of landfills. You can try some of these too. Let's help keep our rivers clean and healthy.